Hey guys, if you're familiar with my channel, you know we go on a lot of hikes. We love to do it, but what happens when you get lost? This one started like all the rest, but this hike takes us down to southern Illinois in the middle of the Shawnee Forest. Hi guys, and thank you for getting out with us today. I'm Cletus, Uncle Steve and Holly are back there getting ready. We are out here at Rice Hollow, getting ready to take about a six mile trail, loop trail, uh, to take us around some of the beauty that lies out here in Southern Illinois. Let's go. We are going to try to start our trail right here and see if this brings us down to the connecting trail that we're trying to get on to. First sign we ignored was starting on the wrong trail, hoping it connected with the one we wanted. It's beautiful, early morning, sun is shining, and we're looking forward to a great trail system today. It was taking us down all right. Kind of a tight squeeze through here. But it's not bad. So on this trail, we're supposed to be able to see some old settlements, waterfalls, and of course some beautiful looking rock formations. We will see what lies ahead. Funky tree of the day right here. So you can see that bend in there. Typically, that would indicate a Native American uh, marker uh, and how they bend the trees so they can determine um, an exact location. If that's really what that is, we should take note and probably learn some bending. Although the sheer beauty of this area is hard to resist, the rocks are astonishing, the trail is vigorous, and it's awesome out here. We have found this trail so far to be quite challenging, but it is definitely a beautiful trail. Just not sure it's the one we're trying to hit yet. Well, here's the way back up, but I believe I see a cave. Who wants to go see it? That's what I thought, let's go. Looks like you can go all the way through there to the other side. So not much of a cave, but still cool to see. Here. Make your way through the other side. This wasn't the trail that we were trying to get to, but it was still really neat to, to hike and check out. So now we're gonna go find the Rice Hollow Trail. Okay, we have found the trailhead for the Rice Hollow. Turns out the High Knob Overlook Picnic Area is just a little further up the road. We had passed this parking lot earlier, not knowing that this was the exact parking location. So right here across the road, we are gonna start our circle trail, a little over six miles long. Let's go. We are now on the right trail, and this is the first of several abandoned cabins we would run across. Pretty nice place. Hey, and there's a sign out front that says there's 40 acres for sale here. It's a nice little uh, cabin to come with it. Everything you need for a nice cabin. Table, chair, and sleeping cot. And all, all but... Uh, one of the two or the windows are still in it. So this is also a horse trail out here. So at least along this part, it's kind of wide and uh, got some rock thrown down here. So easy walking right now. We are now getting ready to run into one of the older cabins along this trail. It lies right ahead. And there she is. Old cabin. Oh, yeah. 
All right, let's check this dude out. As you can see it's uh, very structurally stable here. So I'm not gonna go in too far, but definitely neat. Seen better days, but it is really cool to see. And here is the little bit of a split along with another cabin here. We can go this way or this way. As of now, we're able to pick up enough signal to let us know we're headed in the right direction. So our maps told us to follow the uh, 164 trail here. And as you can see, it's it is definitely a moderate style trail that is accustomed to some horse traffic, but it does take you out through some wonderful looking bluffs, rock formations out here. We're enjoying the morning and the sights. We've got no idea. We are aimlessly wandering off course. Look at this rock right here. Very cool. Millions of years ago, the Gulf of Mexico actually came all the way up into Southern Illinois. And because of all that pressure of the ocean and the water um, over lots and lots of time, that's what formed all these rocks that look like this. Being out here on this trail helps you understand just how vast of a wilderness the Shawnee National Forest is. I mean, just everywhere you look from this point is all trees, hills that you're surrounded by. And it just makes you appreciate how great this place is. It is time for a long awaited bite to eat. So, right here is the kitchen table. All right, now I just need to stir it. I've got my boiling water poured into it. it smells fantastic. Now we wait. I'll tell you guys, mountain house meals may be a little bit expensive, but it's just like your mom made you dinner and brought it out to you right out here on the trail. It is good. Checking our bearings here, or trying to figure out exactly where we're at and which way we need to go according to this sign that doesn't say anything about the trail that we're on. Second mistake, when the trail sign says nothing of said trail, maybe you shouldn't follow it. But hey, we've never been here before. We'll figure it out. And we have finally found a sign that talks about Rice Hollow, which is the trail we are on. This sign says Rice Hollow that way. This is where we collectively agree we did something wrong. The sign said Rice Hollow this way, but we did not have good enough reception and could not verify. We head off without a clue of what lies ahead. And that's the way we're gonna travel. We crossed a road and now it's bringing us into some more rock formations here. And somewhere up ahead, we should be able to see Whiskey Cave. We'll take a look and see. Come to another horse camp. Got their lines up, style horses. This is Cowboy Hideout. what this is. Lots of places for a cowboy to hide out here.
It is now dawning on us that we don't know exactly where we are. So we cross the stream to take a look at another trail. Made it. Holly's gonna take her chances right down here. With many intersecting trails out here, we were trying to rely on our all trails map to get us where we needed to go. So right now we're kind of wandering around the woods aimlessly, knowing that there's a trail nearby, but it doesn't seem to be taking us the direction of the loop that they say. So we're gonna go with our gut instinct and use a trail sign. So this says that Whiskey Cave would be that way, but we're on the Rice Hollow Trail, which says it's straight ahead. Continually crossing the river stream here. There's something you don't see every day. An American flag in the middle of the wilderness with a waterfall behind it. How awesome is that? America. Sure is beautiful out here. Well, there's trail, there's just no trail signs. Searching for a trail uh, marker out here, I have not seen one, but I found a cave, which looks pretty cool. But we've got two hours to find our way out of here before dark, so I've got to be looking for a trail sign. And when you do get kind of disillusioned in the woods and don't know exactly where you're at, always be sure to stick together. That's the biggest thing first. Get to know your bearings, where's the sun at, or a certain rock formation, or every trail lead somewhere. So if you follow a trail, you're bound to end up somewhere. So right now, we don't see any signs on the trees of what trail we're on. And of course, the uh, all trails isn't putting us on any trail, but it's obviously a well-traveled horse trail. And we know if we head northeast, We'll eventually run into a road so that's what we're doing right now all right after looking for about a half a mile or so and seeing no actual trail signs we're just going to go ahead and going to climb to the top of this bluff and make our way out towards the road guys when deciding to climb try not to use all of your energy because there may be plenty more hiking ahead After picking a random hill to climb in the middle of the forest, we miraculously pop up into somebody's backyard. Now, let's hope they don't come out guns a-blazing or have any rabid dogs. But hey, we're tired, we've got hiking poles, we really don't care. Two road. Luckily, across the street from the house that we came up on was a gentleman outside, and he gave us directions back to our parking spot. We're just gonna road walk this one. About a mile up the road. Glad we're out of the woods, though. Yes. See you in a bit, as the sun goes down. It's pretty embarrassing whenever you do get lost on a trail, but luckily, we can embrace that embarrassment and ask somebody for directions to uh, get us back to our vehicle. So we've got a nice embarrassing walk down the road, but we're gonna be great, alive, and be able to sleep in a warm bed tonight. So that's worth something. You know it's been a long day when even your camera mount falls over with exhaustion. And we're walking along the road here, and we've realized 
that we probably came up in the backyard of the only houses in the past mile and a half or so. This is not very many people live out in remote areas like this. So we're back to the road that brings us up to the truck right back here at the High Knob Campground. What we learned from this experience is that you cannot rely on cellular reception, at least out here. Carry paper maps on the area that you're going to be hiking. And if you want navigation, use satellite GPS like a Garmin, which we did purchase on our way home. Be always prepared to spend the night in the wilderness. Make sure you've got plenty of water, something to start a fire, flashlights, warm clothes, and a first aid kit. Because as they say, As the sun's going down, we are just waiting for the truck to come pick us up. Thank you for getting out with us today and sticking with us through that. I can hear the truck coming. For more great biking, hiking, and kayaking videos, click right down here. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel right up here. There is the truck.